Welcome folks, I held off a moment there to not be cut off at the start of the stream this time. So welcome back to our uh, live stream on Twitch, um, which is me and Catherine Haley running around the galaxy and exploring and hopefully having some of you along with us for the ride as well. So, glad to be back Catherine. Absolutely. How did I know that's what you were going to say? How did I know <laughs> that's what you were going to say? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's great. We're excited. We're going to get back in the game. So we are going to be going to uh, Kobali first of all. Uh, hello, Shady and Serban. Um, great to have you here. So, um, but before we get into Kobali and exploring that and having a debate on the Kobali versus the VAD war and the ins and outs of that, um, we've got a new follower, that one kid 893 Thank you for following. That's 106 followers now. Um, I came from Discord. I don't know what it is. I'm going to see and see if I stay. Great. Brilliant. Enjoy. It's going to be some gameplay and talking about game news as well. And uh, community news. So we're going to try and get through this first part quite quickly, Catherine. Would you agree that would be a good idea? Then we can get down to the game. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Let's do that. Cool. <laughs> so um, first of all, what we want to talk about is some community news. So... Um, uh, 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 Chris very helpfully gave me a list of some news to pass on to you. So the Herogen Hunt Festival is delayed indefinitely at the moment. Um, show of Force hosted by Techie should hit at the end of this month. So that's uh, March. Um, Race Around the Star Base is in April hosted by Chris. Um, don't forget to go to the YouTube channel. So I'm just putting a link in the chat just now. You should see that pop up. Um, that YouTube channel is basically where we have... Um, the streams posted up, but going forward at some stage, we will have um, more content going on there. But we're, that's yet to be decided. But if you could show us some support there, that would be awesome. Um, hello, Captain Von Bishop. Pleased to see you. Ahoy. Um, good to see you back. Um, so uh, don't forget to go over to the the YouTube. Okay. Um, it is it's needing uh, your help basically. Um, what we have next is uh, the Gictal is at half 10 and that's Friday, isn't it, Catherine? Yeah, it's um, it's Friday, at, for Tuesdays and Fridays at half past 10 is the clean on KDF Gictal. And that's UTC, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, that's that's quite an interesting um, one and we'll come back to that in a moment. It's in relation to the patching. <clears throat> apparently, it is, it is tonight, apparently. Oh, okay. Brilliant, tonight. Um, and Kapla to Edgeman. Um, good to see you. Um, also want to mention staff recruitment, volunteering to become command staff. That's uh, available at the moment. So um, we're looking for new people. And obviously, if you're um, vibing with the, the ethos of the community uh, and you like what you see, I mean, me and Catherine are part of that staff, um, as well as many others as well, you know, come and join us. Um, and Chris and Techie obviously are at the top of that, making sure uh, I, that everybody is supported as well. So don't be shy. Um, your contributions are valued. Absolutely. Okay. Um, contributions toward the Armada. It's important that high value items or items are placed in the fleet's secure deposit. Um, an EC can be deposited in the fleet bank as well. Um, so um, let me uh, show you that. Okay. So in the game, let's have a look. Um, oh, it's still loading me up. So, um, luckily, I have a bridge that has access to all of this. So, we'll have a look. You know, funnily enough, I've not even really looked at this stuff myself yet because I've um, mostly been doing work on the streams and things like that rather than in game. But, uh, oops. Um, let me just change out of this costume here for a second and get my nice modern. Starfleet uniform on. Okay, so if we go to the bank, and you go to the fleet bank, okay, so um, you've got secure deposits, okay, so this is the tab you want to go to if you want to put in some high value, value items, alright, <coughs> and um, the EC can be deposited in, in the fleet bank, okay, so for that, you go to the general tab and you can deposit the EC in the fleet bank there as well, okay. So, what do we have next? Um, 
let's see and obviously thank you to the 12 viewers watching just now really appreciate that um so what do we have next well we've now got 431 discord members which is amazing so that's um obviously you know there's 2000 plus i think it's 2500 plus members within the actual game itself but out of that number 431 are, are on discord which is fantastic um 106 twitch followers now and um, we just got a new follower this evening and Yay! yeah um so that was at the start of the stream and um yeah it's just <laughs> it's just great all round so in terms of game news we've got some interesting stuff going on at the moment okay so number one on that list we have the Tholian Trouble um, event on at the moment. Okay. So, uh, yep. And I think we discussed this one before. You get the Universal Kit module, the Tholian Technology Suite, and it goes towards your campaign progress for the for the year uh, and the great rewards there as well. You've got Admiralty Bonus Week on at the moment too. Okay. So they give out bonus rewards. Um, double campaign XP, faster prog progression from that. Um. I think it's it's important to keep that in mind as well. There's a key low buy stored lithium and vanity shield sale on as well. Okay, so that is on PC March fourteenth at eight AM Pacific time to eighteenth at at twelve PM Pacific time. There, so don't miss out on that because that's quite a short one. That's only four days. Um, we've got a new ship. This is quite uh, exciting news. So starting on March fourteenth, a brand new ship will be available in the Infinity Lockbox. So uh you better chain up your wallets people because we all know what this what this means um it either means some crazy odds or it means getting that wallet out but the question is is the ship worth it now i only found out about this news um today i know it was only yesterday it came out but i've been working so i've only found out about it today so what is this all about then so it's an Orion vessel. It's a workhorse field research vessel equipped and optimised for the unusual environments they tend to find themselves in. Interesting way of phrasing it when you think about the fact that space is itself an unusual environment filled with nebulas and black holes and God knows what else. Anyway, um, I believe, is this the one that was in um, Strange New Worlds? I think it is. It was in an episode of Strange New Worlds. So that's, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think so. And that was the crossover with Lower Decks episode, I believe, where... This was Tendi's ancestor that was the captain of this vessel or something like that. Okay. So what does the vessel have? Well, it's got a temporal anchor universal console. Now that's interesting because isn't there another another thing called temporal anchor in Star Trek Online? I believe there is. Something that comes on on one of the science vessels or something like that. One of the... It's like part of a set. I'll have to look that up at some point. But anyway, activating this console... Anchors the target foes to their place in time, dealing some radiation damage via the mass release of chronotons in the area. And after the delay, the foes return to their position at the exact moment of activation and take the damage again. That sounds pretty cool. Obviously, we'd want to see the, the tooltip there to, to get a look at that. And um, Starship Trait Temporal Artifact Scans. So while this trait is slotted, your ship sensors will scan the area for chroniton radiation coming from a temporal artifact housed aboard an enemy starship. Once it's located, defeating that ship will drop it into space as a pickup. Collecting it gives a bonus to crit severity. Do you know, reading that, I think that's a kind of a gimmicky trait. We've, we're not short of crit severity at the moment, sources, do you know? I mean, it's one of those where I'm not sure just how valuable that will be, to be honest. The console, though, may be something worth looking at, depending on what the actual stats are. Okay, I'm not going to bother going through the, the, the ship too much just now. Um, I mean, I, I can read this and I can see roughly what I, I might use it for, but I tend to not really judge a ship until I've got it. I tend to get most of the ships anyway, just in case I want to use them and do yeah. some testing on them. So. I, I reckon it'll be a good for... It's, it's going to be good for one of two things, and Serbon's already mentioned one of them, actually. <clears throat> so... Um, it'll be re it'll be quite good for space magic and EPG. Yeah, you know because it's got the um, it's the one of the mastery packages is the um, ex exotic damage. Um, also, it'll be really good for um, for torp psi builds. So it'll be um, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what um, what comes out of um, some of our uh, some of our uh, members workshops when uh when they can get their hands on it yeah um i mean that'd be quite interesting yeah definitely and it's interesting actually because you know you've got a lieutenant commander engineering there as well which is which is interesting 
uh, as the engineering and um, Intel slot. So it's an interesting mix, isn't it, of Temple yeah. Intel? Yeah, indeed. Um, <clears throat> it, could, it could be a real kind of... Uh, you could, as you say, you could run a few. I think there's probably a few other types of builds that you could run on there as well. Um, so it will be interesting to see what people come up with. Um, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty good at the game, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not a super build wizard. I mean, I tend to focus very much in on a particular area and um, excel there. So, seeing what the other members of the community and other um, content creators and and store builds wizards come up with will be will be very interesting indeed um yeah definitely and so um if you if you recall we were talking about um we were talking uh last last week it was two days ago um so last stream we were talking about um uh bringing people on to show off their builds and stuff like that um, absolutely so um we've already had um someone volunteer um so we're, we're going to get so it's, it's Serbon's volunteered to bring on one of his ships, and I won't spoil the surprise, but it's it will be um, it will surprise and amaze you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're, we're going to save that for another for another stream. Yeah, I think um, the the idea behind that um, is that we haven't quite tested how to show someone else's footage on this live yet. Yeah. So what we really want is for you to get a real in depth view of Serbon flying the ship and look at the build on Serbon's screen as well. Uh, see the traits, the what what gear is slotted, um, all that stuff there. You know, even what the power settings are set like. You know, what the tray looks like, um, all that sort of th all that sort of stuff. Um, also, I just wanted to say um, thank you to Gaharius for following us as well. Followed two minutes ago. Um, I didn't miss that. I thought I'd uh, keep that in my my mind to say thanks for the follow as well. So that takes us to one hundred and seven followers. We're we're getting there. We are getting there. Now, the next thing, this is the last thing we're going to talk about before we move on to actually playing the game, because uh, we're 12 minutes into this and we want to we wanna play the game more than talk about the game, but it's important you get these, okay? So PC patch notes, okay? So the I, I think, you know, you've got a big... Where to begin on this? <laughs> yeah, you've got a big slab of text, but the, the, the pertinent points, you know, I think, you know, as you as you had said in your notes, Catherine, the patch really had sort of gone wrong. The superior ROM, you know, operatives on the exchange, I think, are still broken or they're broken worse, according to what Dave had told me. Um, fleet power network issue as well. Um, so, yeah, the issue with that, the issue with the fleet power network it, is it was resetting. Um, it was it was it was two things. It was overwriting the main firing mode and it was resetting. Um, your cooldowns mm -hmm. so yeah it's um yeah a bit of a nightmare um yeah yeah i, I mean that's the thing i mean it, it just seems to be it's like whack-a-mole so the type 7 i take it as a type 7 shuttle is no longer applying uh, beta 1 or 3 so that's sort of bork them um yeah so i think you know, we won't we won't dig too much into this. I mean, the patch notes are there for you to see if you want to see them. But I think the the general commentary that we're we're looking at here is, you know, um, one of the reasons that this um this was shown to to people, not shown. Sorry, one of the reasons that STO was handed over to Dec Deca as much as a restructure was that they're experts in dealing with code spaghettification, right? And you know, it's one of those things where, um. We are seeing the pitfall, the, not pitfalls. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but the the um, the consequences of sp code spaghettification. Okay, um, so this is the sort of thing that happens that when you try to, um, Catherine, me and you have just become friends. Can you believe that after all this time? Um, no, it's crazy. Um, but that's what happens, Catherine, isn't it? Is that you know when you're not curating or or taking care of or or running a tight ship with code, um, or if dev teams change or people leave, and someone else inherits it, you can end up in a tangled mess, can't you? Where when you try and implement something, something else goes wrong. You know, something breaks. It's just you know it's a bit yeah. of a nightmare, isn't it? I think it's really important to say that that problem isn't unique to Star Trek Online. It's not unique to even gaming. So there's lots of business applications all over the world that are in exactly the same state. So what will happen is, is that one person will write a bit of code 
understand what's going on and then the next person comes along so that person leaves the next person comes along picks it up and they, they it takes time for them to um to sort of you know really get on board with you know what that piece of code was about and where you know and where other things interact with it and it's it's quite important to to bear in mind that you know the developers of, of SDO, they they don't go to work thinking, oh yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make the gameplay worse or yeah. you know, break things. They go to work the same way that we do. So, you know, we go to work and we do our best and then you know, and then we go home, you know, and it's we don't intentionally go to work thinking, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna mess with this, yada yada yada. It just it's just not the way things work in the real world. Yeah. Well that that's the thing, isn't it? It's it's people not knowing why but it doesn't change the fact i guess that best practices are so important in any type of business you know especially when it comes to things like this where the impact on the end user can be so extreme at times you know the quality of service and that sort of thing so i think it's a big mix of different stuff i think all businesses do try to hold or well most reputable businesses will try to hold themselves to a high standard um and yeah you know you kind of have to you have to give, have a bit of give and take there don't you you know you have to you have to understand the humans that are doing their best but also there are standards to be met as well dave's just pointed out type sevens are actually applying beta 3 but if you have 12 stacks of beta 3 from the fighters and then use beta 1 yourself it overwrites the whole 12 stacks so yes yeah, so a bit more detail on that there so Catherine, what are we doing here on on Kabali prime what's the, what's the story with all this then so Kabali prime is again one of those um one of those maps that you don't really unless you're doing the missions you don't really come to for very much you don't really come to for any for any reason like it's after i did the missions i haven't been back here um so yeah. we thought okay you know let's um let's t let's come and explore kabali prime well why don't we why don't we go to the uh, we sort of ran out of the city i suppose but why, so, don't, why don't we look at the city first shall we do that what shall we uh what should we go and explore v can you hear me catherine if anyone would like to join us, we are on Kavali Prime. We're in instance number one. So Nigel's just mentioned that um, he only goes there for the Vaudois endeavours. And I, ironically, that is. Can you hear me again, Catherine? Yeah, I can hear you. Yep, no problem. I wasn't sure if you could hear me a moment ago. <laughs> I don't know if the stream could hear me. I think they could hear us both talking, but um, I don't know if um, I didn't know if you could hear me. Yeah, uh, I couldn't. He there was a brief moment where I couldn't hear you, but that's okay. No worries. Okay, okay. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, I do actually have an endeavour for defeat Vardwell Ground. So. Cool. Oh, by the way, um, should we invite? Because Captain Von Bishop said I'll come over over and muck about with you. We're on Cavalli Prime 1. Let's see. Um, let's have a look at the instances. Yeah, so we're the only people here. Yeah. So if you want to come and join us, for the, we can just utterly ransack the Vadwar Mutara Alliance um, show of force. <laughs> How does that sound, Catherine? Yeah, definitely. Let's... So I'm going to go in... Um, a whereabouts if... Uh... Ah, you're there. Right, cool. So shall I go and complete... If we go and shoot some stuff... That's, that's what everyone wants to see, isn't it? Yep. I'm watching you running off into the into the fray. There we go. So we've got the Kabali troops here defending the area with their shields, although they're standing outside of them for some reason, I guess, to shoot. So let's see. Catherine's Catherine's going right in there. Look, Catherine's Catherine's blowing these people to pieces over here. Captain Von Bishop, the Kabali need you. Us. Gaharius is on their way as well. Right, we're going to have an exciting time. We're going to think about the amount of us we can have on this instance, Catherine, if we get this right. Yeah, it's yeah, it should probably yeah, it'll be how many? Thirty-five, is it? Yeah, that's I mean, the, we, we could have a seriously large amount of people here, uh, which could be fun if some civilians, as we may call them, come and join, and they'll be like, "My God, how many people are here from this community?" <laughs> the, the invasion. Um, 
uh, Aero says I'll bomb them from orbit. Just remember, we are down here at Aero, okay? <laughs> um, just make sure that your torpedoes um, or subspace weaponry do not, or whatever it is you're firing, do not uh, smash us as well. Um, okay. I'm just shooting Vadbor like crazy here. Uh, clearing the yep, area. Easy. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about the story here? Uh, Catherine, and uh, we can because I think we're going to have a little debate about the morality of this whole thing. So, this um, so earlier in one of the earlier streams, do you remember we were chatting about how I quite nowadays I quite like Deep Space Nine because of the elements of um, the elements of war that are in it, yeah, because it explores some of the um, it explores some of the um, some of the different moral aspects, like when <clears throat> you know when 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 you know when legs break effectively, and you, you know and, and the psychological element of that. Yeah, and it, it's 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 along the same sort of line. So you know we're we're going through the trenches at the moment, killing off killing off the Vodwa and. Obviously, it relates to the story missions because this, you know, the story missions are, um, you know, are related, are obviously related and stuff. And to be honest, I haven't done the Vardwar missions in quite a long time. Have you? I did. I actually did. Um, I played through them again not so long ago. Um, okay. Reason. Um, well, that's interesting. Captain von Bishop said uh, Gaharius. I was touching on this in a conversation earlier today. Um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a, a subject of debate, you know. Um, when I was playing through it, so so you've got the basically so the Vadwar are invading Kabali, right? And at first, it just seems as if this is part of the um, the Vadwar's. Oh, there's Serbon. Hello, Serbon. Look at Serbon. Look at that. Talk about we talked about the Ferengi having big shoulders last time. Oh, he's doing his little salute. There we go. Awesome. Um, so. Yeah, um, I think the the assumption was that it was just a case of the Vadwar cutting a path through the Delta Quadrant, and you know the, it was the consequences of of Janeway, you know, waking wakening them up, or I think was it Seven that woke them up? I can't remember who it was that specifically woke them up, but um, anyway, it turns out you know throughout this process that uh, of the missions that what's happened is that this planet actually has a gigantic Vadwar stasis room or something like that and I think some of them were dead or something like that or is that a grave is it a gravesite or a stasis room? I can't remember specifically what it was. But anyway the Kabali are using um that space and potentially even using the Vadwar's bodies, I think, aren't they, Catherine? Yeah. Um to to because the 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 Kabali um uh, procreate in a sense but well, I don't know if you could really call it procreation uh, oh by the way I'm going to cut myself off here for a second just to say let's all meet at the bridge at the front of the city so everybody who's in here just now let's meet at the bridge so we can we can coordinate our our movements so meet, meet me and Catherine at the bridge on the way into the city anyway um, so yeah so once that's found out you kind of think to yourself yeah aha uh Serban -huh, yeah they, they use anyone but I think the controversy on this planet is um, that they're using the Vadwar bodies here. Um, Nor Pandas just followed, thank you. Um, so that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Because it's kind of a desecration, isn't it? It's 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 not right. It's not good that the 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 Kobali are doing that, you know. Um, do you know what I mean? And Harry as well. Does, doesn't Harry find out that there's a Kabali version of himself or something like that? Something, something along those lines. Am I on the right track? Yeah, he really. Yeah, he identified. He identified with. Um, so the the way he got back was he pretended to be a person who was dying um, to go back to. In, in this is in the in the series. Um, so he pretended to be a guy who was passing. And that guy went off, and I don't, I don't think it actually w that ever got explored on on screen. What happened to that guy? Interestingly enough. 
Yeah, I know, I know. I don't, I, and yeah, some things are sort of left, aren't they? Left kind of hanging in a way. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot like the um, Viridians. So the um, Viridians were never well. N I mean, you know, not in the main TV series, um, but the yeah the you know the Viridians were only was it the Viridians or the Vidians? Oh, the Vidians, yeah, with the the stealing bodies to help themselves get over the phage. Yeah, and it was sort of you thinking you know you you didn't really see them ever again. Exactly. Well, they came back a couple of times, but then that was it. And then later on, did you know that the... Do you remember the episode Think Tank? Yeah. Uh, they mentioned that they cured the Vidian phage. Did they? Yeah, so that's one of the things that they talk about. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just noticing we've got a whole load of people around us now. So why don't we Why don't we go, Catherine? Do you want to lead the way on the charge um, through this battlefield and we'll all follow you? Yeah, let's have a little... Um... Look at the size of Gaharius's gun. That's the one from Lower Decks, isn't it? Yeah, that is that is quite a big. That is quite a big. Um, that is quite a big weapon. But yes. Um, but who have we got here out of interest? Let's have a look at who we've got here. So we've got. Um, we've got quite a few Nimbus people here. Um, so we've got. Me, obviously, I'm from Nimbus. I'm the vice admiral of Nimbus. Um, yeah, they are all, all Matara Alliance. So we've got um, Nastasia <laughs> from Nimbus. We've got Gaharius, who is from Nimbus as well. Gaharius just we've said, got um, oh yeah, the episode with George Constan uh, Costanza. <laughs> who could forget Space Constanza? That was um, <laughs> from uh, Seinfeld. Um Captain Von Bishop says, uh, how weird would it be to be like, you know, that Cavalli right there was my sister. <laughs> Normal stuff. Yeah, it's really strange, isn't it? Um, if you could all just stay there for just a sec. We're just going to do a very quick... I'm just going to take a very quick screenshot. There we go. Um, so we've also got a V. What fleet are you in, V? I am in the uh, command fleet, I think it's called. Oh, excellent. That's not specifically for your command, that's, it's just the... F um, right, let's see, let's, let's see if I can get a good angle on this. Right. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick screenshot now. So what I'm doing is, while, I'm, while um, you're working on that, Catherine, I am just getting ready a couple of a, a couple of things ready in the background as well. Yeah, so, no worries. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to running around uh, the planet surface. I'm definitely looking looking forward to that. Um, I'm just uh, yeah, I'm just in the back background of Twitch right now, checking a couple of things. Cool. So we've also got uh, Captain Bishop. We've got Serb on as well. Serbon is over in. Uh, he's in command as well. So we've got lots of different fleets. Yeah. <laughs> Bishops in Nimbus as well. We're very. Uh, Kabali Prime is being taken over Matara, by Matara Alliance, or more specifically, Nimbus fleet of Matara Alliance. Anybody got a dance ball to throw in the air? <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have a dance ball, would I? There we go. That is it. It might not show the dance ball, but look at the, look at the grooving going on over here. That says it's seventeen viewers now. Um, Chris, could you let me know um, if you've got the um, item? Because if you've got that, then I've got things set up to choose a random viewer. <laughs> okay. So if you let me know, that would be good. So, what are we doing, Catherine? Are we going to are we going to run through this place? Yes, but give me just a moment. So there's to nothing get back that into amuses me more than seeing a cl a big Klingon dancing around like this. It just really amuses me. The Klingon and that little human are back to back. See that, and the Ferengis 
dancing up a storm there. Um, we've got the Kabali just walking through this as if nothing's going on. Uh, Catherine, you're doing your dancing there as well. Serbon, it's loving it. Yeah, that cling on and the wee look back to back, loving it, loving it. Absolutely loving ah, it. Ah, someone, someone else has turned up as well. We, uh, so we've got to stay the Corian with us as well. There we go. Right, so let's 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 up the action in here. So where are we going, Catherine? Do we just follow you? Should we go this way first? Into the city? Okay. Yeah. Should we have a quick look around the city? Okay. Let's do it. Look at this so, mob. Look at this, this mob following us. It's so funny. Look at that mob following you around, Catherine. <laughs> it's great. Not just any Stovacorian. No, it's... um. So the Stovacorian, Grenge, is um, Exo Vizu, who go. is... Draco Davy on the Twitch stream. So, this kind of reminds me a bit of Bajor. Yeah. I mean, look at the not, size of the not if you look in the distance, though. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. It reminds me... Yeah, it's a very similar colouring, and it's sort of just, just for layout and, you know, the doors and stuff. It very much reminds me of, you know, the elements. Just obviously a different colour. So, these are, these are, yeah, these are basically purple and pinkies, whereas Bajoran is a bit more sort of brown and grey, isn't it? Um, and you can tell it's a newer map as well because the visuals are a lot more appealing. So the you look at some of these boxes, these containers, and they're not, you know, they're not that sort of uh, what's the what's the best way to describe it? They're not that sort of lock boxy sort of palette sort of design. They they are they're proper you know they, they look i haven't seen these anywhere else in the game they look like they've been specifically designed for this map which is really good yeah and it's the same with the plants as well over here so the, i've no i haven't seen these plants in the game before there we go and you know they've even made new dirt the dirt is not the old rubbish pixelated thing either yeah you, Absolutely. You, so you, you got to know, Kath. You got you got to admit we must be doing something right when we've got sixteen people watching us talking about dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just funny, isn't it? Oh, here you can sit on this bench. Can you? Oh wow! Oh, okay, you can't. Actually, what wow. I want to do is sit on the bench behind these guys. Look, I'm, I, I just look. It's like I'm. It's like I'm operating this guy like a puppet or something. See? I love it. Right, so I'm just going to stand here, and I'm going to, um, right, shall I, I'm gonna, just going to wave to them doing the, uh, doing their press-ups. There you go, that's <laughs> it. We appreciate, oh, sorry, I'm standing inside your body there. Um, we appreciate what you're doing. We've got a new follower, Antares66CZ. We'll call you Antares for ease of, of, of reference. Um, thank you for following us. Hello there. Um, says Antares, a bit like. Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, Catherine, they're spinning on the ground like Homer Simpson. Um, yes. You gotta love it. Um, so, shall we move on? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So again, it's there's these very this console again. It's it's not like in the star bases that we've previously in the star bases that we've previously looked at. They've been very generic, very. You know they look all they they all look the same, um. But these have been specific again. These have been specifically designed for this map, and it's it's. I think it's a testament to just how much detail, um, the SDO devs have, have put in on this particular map, and it this sort of stuff it it takes it takes weeks if not months of time and effort to. You know to create these to make sure that everything can move around correctly mm. as yeah. well as, as yeah and it's you know you think oh yeah we'll just run around it do the mission etc but there's so much effort that gets put into into these things into these assets. Shall we move on yeah um and Terry says you're in Kabali prime aren't you yep absolutely we are um up to 18 viewers now thank you to all of you for joining us 
Um, I am not sure uh, if there's going to be an item giveaway tonight. Um, I'm just waiting on Chris letting me know. Um, one of the viewers, if you could remind me who you were, um, very kindly was asking about donating an item to be given away. Um, I've got things prepared to do that if Chris has received it and it can let me know what it is as well. Uh, so I can I can start telling you guys what that is, but that's that's brilliant. That's that's the community, um, the Mutara community spirit there as always, um, giving things to one another, you know, put put things into the community and it comes back out to you as well. So, what's next, Catherine? I'm not looking, it's transports for the moment. I did, didn't realize that. I don't think I realized that this was here. Yeah, you can transport Reminds to different me parts of... of the city. Shall we? Uh, shall we do that? Well, what I was thinking was, um, I mean, if we go out on foot over the bridge and kind of work our way around the map as a group, yeah, and just explore it, you know, and we can comment on the things that we find. So, do you want me to lead the way, or? Yeah, go on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to zoom my camera a lot so we can see the giant mob following us right this say I absolutely love it. It's so, it's so good. There we go. Look at that. Look at that mob. It's like it's like um, World War Z or something. You've got uh, Dave doing um, the Ferengi dance on the bridge there. I cling on doing a Ferengi dance. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Um, wow. So um, Chris has said that the item is an assimilator dreadnought carrier. That is absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, thank you so much. Uh, for that do the donation again let me know your name again just so that i can let people know so towards the end of this stream we will run a giveaway for an assimilator dreadnought carrier okay how much would that be worth on the exchange catherine i have no idea offhand i, I don't think it's uh, i don't think i've ever looked for um for one of those fact, um you know so it'd be quite interesting to i'm gonna do it right now yeah um, i'm trying to recall okay how I actually get my little guy to appear. How did I, how did I do that? Oh, the, the trade guy. So here he is, right? You'll see him on my stream, right? So I'm going to check the, uh, the the exchange, right? So Kobali... No, not Kobali. Kobali. So a simulator dreadnought carrier. 1.3 billion. Okay. So we will be giving away tonight a ship worth 1.3 billion ec okay to one of you one of the 17 of you in here right now will get that tonight okay now the question is will there be more of you joining us okay so um pretty exciting stuff catherine eh? yeah definitely um that's um that's really exciting and thank you ever so much to um, thank you ever so much for the, for the, for the donation. That's it's muchly appreciated. Awesome. I just want them to say their name again so that I can um, so that I can make that uh, say thank you to them. You know, and, and kind of shout it out a bit more. Um, I don't know if the mods or admins can give like a shout out to that user or something in the chat. Like, is it possible to do that so that we can? You know, I want to I want to really make a make a point of. I mean, that is an incredible thing to do to come onto a stream like that. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Nor Panda, so that's Voodoo from Genesis Fleet. Um, that is absolutely brilliant. I mean, that that is um, that is uh, that is basically the what you want, isn't it? That is what the kind of thing that you want to see happening um, when people are giving this um, th that sort of thing away to other users, because there may be users within this. Um, Within this community, who are newer or don't have access to those kinds of resources, you know, and you know it is, you know, to to get that sort of chance to come into a stream with you know, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty people in it, twenty five people in it, not be one of thousands. That's the that's the beauty of these early streams is that we've not got to that size yet, but you've got that chance. You know, you're one of the early adopters coming in here to this stream, and you're getting access to those sorts of. Uh, prizes you know um i am kirk's protege yep and i am actually very old i'm, I'm nearly 40 now <laughs> i'm an old man turned in and, yeah, i'm actually having to walk about with a walking stick now that's why i play star trek online because i'm 
reliving my youth when I when I press shift and run around like this. It makes me remember the old days, you know. I think back to when I could walk. When I used to be able to go up and over objects, Catherine, you know. Um what about that. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, we've got Nigel over here. Look at Nigel. Let's have a look at Nigel's costume. So stay very still, Nigel. We've got 21 viewers now. Excellent. We've got Nigel with a cool looking red and white Starfleet uniform and a rainbow scarf on. Very stylish indeed there. Obviously matching shoes as well. That's cool. That's very cool. Um, I love it. Love to see it. Love to see um, a nice bit of colour there. So I don't know what's happened. I don't know if we've all split up a bit. Um, it seems like the group is down this way somewhere. Don't really know what's going on. There's a few people down here. Are they with you, Catherine? No, it's me. That's uh, I've I've veered from the from the pack. Ah, I'm not too sure where the rest of the pack is. Nigel, this is my old man jogging suit. Well, it's a very stylish one, I must say. Um, new follower, Tiff Six. That's fantastic. Um, that is brilliant. Um, so don't forget Tiff6 to stick around for the chance to win an Assimilator um, Dreadnought Carrier. Another f uh, follower, Aiden Pride Blub. Thank you so much for that. Um, again, I'll say stick around. Make sure you stay towards the end. We will be... Um, what was I going to say? We will be doing the random selection from the chat. Uh, another follower, No Dice Rice. We're doing a, a random selection from the people in the chat towards the end of this stream, which will be in probably about about 20 minutes or something like that within the last 10 minutes of the stream. So, I'm going to carry on up here, Catherine. There's a lot yep. more Cavalli up this way. Let's just, let's so just I show them what the Mutara Alliance confused. do to... Uh, uh, sorry, Vadwar. So, what were you saying, Catherine? Sorry. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a bit confused because I remember Cavalli Prime being part of Delta Rising, and Delta Rising was released in 2014. But this this map is is it it must have been redesigned at some point because this map is it's it's got a lot of newer sort of vibes to it. Like it's it's not the it, it it's either been redesigned or it was the first of the first of sort of the new maps and stuff because it, this it, there's no I, I can't I can't see this map being 10 years old you know well the, the thing is I think when we hear the the phrase 10 years old it makes us think it's really old but 2014 wasn't that long ago really when you think about you know 2014 I mean to me maybe it's just because I'm because I'm old or getting on a bit now but I, I, to me it doesn't feel that long ago but I do, I do think that they probably did, they probably did um, redo some elements of this map. There, at some stage, they did some kind of lighting redesign, and maybe some textures as well. So maybe that was part of it. Maybe they went to these areas and made those sorts of changes. Yeah. By the way, we've got twenty-two viewers watching us now. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, I don't, I don't think the Vadwar know what's, what's hitting them right now, Catherine. No, we've uh, we're absolutely uh, we're absolutely going up and over with this, aren't we? I know we are, we are absolutely. And you know, it's like now you get like D Day or whatever. This is like K Day or something or V Day. It's like the like Vadwar or Kabali. It's it's honest to God. Or and actually, funnily enough, Vadwar and Kabali, V and Catherine. Like that. That's <laughs> yeah. So uh, V Day. That that's your uh, that's your. Uh, that's your handle, isn't it? <laughs> V-Day. Yeah, I've actually become a day now. Um, <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah. So, you know, we could run around these this map doing, like, just killing randoms, you know? Or, I mean, I don't know if we've got time to run a film mission, but, I mean, I think, you know, with the amount of us here, we could put together a team and do it if we wanted to. Maybe we could do that next time, run the actual Kobali story line. Or something like that, and they can see what happens. Yeah, um, definitely. We, we would need to test how many people can join a mission. It might be limited by the by the team, um, so we might only be able to take three others with us. Yeah. Um, or we could do some of the Vardwar TFOs. Yeah, yeah, we could. I think probably we'll do that next time, Jurek. We'll just run around cause mayhem this time. 
and then maybe we'll meet back in the city and do some more dancing right next to Harry Kim or something, just to annoy him. Um, so we've got. He's still dancing. Um, I know he's. Yeah, imagine that. Could you imagine if he was? Um, so we've got um, uh, Aiden Pride, uh, Blood Pussin, uh, Captain Cranog reporting for duty. So great to see you. Um, and also said I came back to the game after a few in quotations years and yeah there are some things and missions that I played before that weren't there years ago so they did change and rework some missions yeah they, they must have done they must have done uh, but that being said do you remember when we watched the old trailer do you remember that yep um, and we were looking at that um, and commenting I think Chris was commenting on how good the game looked and that was in 2010 so in some ways it looks better and in some ways it looked really amazing at the start as well so Catherine I'm going to take a break from this for a second I'm not going away but what we're going to do is um, right uh, in fact what we'll do is everybody follow me back to the city we're going to go up to Harry Kim and we're going to troll him by um, dancing all over his area until he just gives up all hope that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do um oh Getting caught in the spot. Oh, you've, you've been held. Yeah. Hang on a sec. That's uh. It's an unusual event. But I'm going to be showing them a certain video, Catherine. That you may know what it is. And Nigel yeah, maybe. may know what it is as well. <laughs> so I'm going to get that already in the background, and then we'll we'll watch that. But we want to get back to Harry Kim first of all. So everybody that can hear this, if you're in the stream, uh, or on Kabali, or both, come back to Harry Kim, and we're, uh, uh, Gaharia said you had me at Troll Harry Kim, yep, it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Uh, the politest Starfleet officer ever needs to be, we need to break, break him, and get him to express anger of some kind. Right, here he is, right, Harry Kim, dance around the Kim, that's what, that's what this is, okay. There we go, we had uh, Nigel sliding up there. 22 viewers, fantastic stuff. So while you guys are all doing that, I've got the scene set up. I am going to... Um, I am going to... Uh, look up this video real quick and then get that set up as well. So... Uh, Catherine, you want to you wanna take over chatting to them for a sec while I get this ready? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, you know, I'm actually taunted by Harry Kim at the moment because in um in one of the elite TFOs, um, the Battle of Corfez, I think it is, um, that is one of those new missions that is it is um, it's one of the stages is is incredibly difficult. Um, as in, you know, it 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 takes a lot of people by surprise, and you really need a good team. A balanced team. You need you need a tanks. You need um, you, you know you need DPS boats. You need a bit of everything even, to to actually do it. And I think I've only ever completed Corvairs once on Elite. Yeah, I've only done it and, once or twice as well. It, it depends um, on I've, that middle section of the mission. Like there's one section of it that just is impossible, isn't it? Um, yeah. By the way, do you want to drop a dance ball? Real quick, it's got to be done. Uh, yeah, okay, I can and, drop a dance ball. And then when, that means when we finish this vid, the um, the what do you call it? The the video I'm going to show, then we'll, we'll see us all dancing. So, what is this, folks? Well, this is Nigel. Um, Nigel, I've muted the music because of copyright concerns that maybe you know we might get hold up for that on the stream but anyway so this is Nigel opening up all of the um or using all of the keys um that were won by Nigel last time on on this one of the streams that we had so it was great 150 keys so this is the opening here um which is which is great so look at look at these prizes coming out so some decent things popping out of these boxes here I mean, we we got to show a key opening video, don't we, Catherine? We can't not do it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's 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 interesting because I I um I don't really open many lock boxes to be honest. 
So, you know, see, seeing the results sort of, you know, see, I like that. The seeing, seeing the unboxing of the lock boxes. <laughs> yeah, it's what it's all about nowadays. Unboxing videos, isn't it? My, um, my, uh, my youngest absolutely loves unboxing videos. Um, <laughs> so we're going to bring uh, unboxing videos to you of lock boxes. <laughs> Well, that's it. I mean, it's it's you're sort of living vicariously. I'm sure you. I'm sure you can see the prizes that are coming out down there at the bottom. Um, you know, uh, it's it's just it's just fun. You know, what's good about this is that Nigel's not like doing it too quickly, so we get a chance to kind of see what's coming out here. Gives you a good idea of what you can expect from yeah. Your, you know, your opening a, a a decent chunk of keys there. Um, I don't know what Nigel was planning on doing with this stuff, whether it was to resell it or to, to just open him for the chance of getting the T6 ship or, the, you know, the promotion ship, promotional ship, sorry. Um, but, you know, a lot of the things that you pull out these boxes are, are worth it anyway, or you can make some money back on them on the exchange. Um, a good person to watch, um, Spencer B, so that's Casual Sab on Twitch, uh, has a lot of good methods for... Um, making money in the game as well so a, a good person to watch um in fact one thing that would be good is if one of the mods or or chris or someone could see if there's any star trek online streams going on just now that we could maybe raid um obviously what we want to do is set the raid up if we're going to do that to, to happen in the very last moments of the stream so i will i will indicate uh i'll indicate that so there we go um that is um the uh, wow! Box opening. So Nigel, um, Nigel was saying that he got a, a tough flea ship from the duty officers. Oh, that's brilliant! And he didn't get it recorded. Yeah, yeah, that's great because that gives you that bridge, doesn't it, with the the the, the great amenities on it. Um, this is at twenty five euros. Fantastic stuff. Really, really, really good stuff there. Um, look at Harry Potter. Look. Catherine is Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kim. <laughs> there you go. He's been demoted even worse. Look at Harry's face. Does he look amused to you? Oh, he's turned away. Look. He's he's sandwiched between us. Well, oh, you've run away now, Catherine. Catherine, you're dancing at the back of that guy. He's just trying to do his job there. My god, look, we've got um <laughs> We've got Taylor Swift has come over. Look, Taylor Swift is apparently an Andorian now. Um. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ha look, oh, Harry's Harry's turned. He wants to see Taylor. He's taking some notes on Taylor's dancing. He's writing down there. Very good dancing. Lots of smooth movement there. Taylor's breaking the rules of quantum physics there by actually occupying the same space as Harry at the same time. Um, let's get another dance ball down there. Let's get another dance ball. There we go, Harry. Right. Oh. I'm quite enjoying the Gemma Dar dancing at the back because obviously Gemma, Gemma Hadar's dancing aren't it, it's it's so far from cam, canon that it's unreal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look at Nigel. Nigel's really doing something there. Wow. Nigel is dancing up a storm. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? Our um, our uh, our morale officer has made a really good point in the chat, hasn't she? What about um, Harry not being amused? He's just been told he's not a wizard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Nigel's letting out his inner Lady Gaga. Let's get a look around. We've got the dancing Klingon, the dancing Jem Hadar. We've got a very confused looking... Um, is that a Saurian or whatever they're called there? Um, we've got dancing Ferengi. We've got Serbon over there. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. We are um, we are taking over Kabali. We're bringing the the soul back to Kabali, yeah, you know, we're dancing, dancing 100%. hard enough to wake the dead, um, which suits Kabali, doesn't it? That's what they want. This is how you resurrect people. You don't resurrect them through Kabali science. You dance around. That's what you do. <laughs> so Nigel says he's he's letting out his inner Gaga. <laughs> yeah, there he is. You can see him from above there. Look, there's Nigel jumping about the place. What's that dance move called, Nigel? That's so funny. I love it. That's a good view there. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I'll be so happy if anybody's recording videos of this that we can play again, use as B-roll in the future. 
Um, zombie. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to see if I can copy you, Nigel, but I, I can't find the damn uh, thing. Oh, there we go. Right, so... Uh, emotes. I wonder if I've got the zombie one yet. No. Uh, let's see. Have I got Thriller? Hmm. I guess not. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, that's us. Number one live streaming on Twitch for Star Trek Online right now. Absolutely fantastic stuff there. Um, okay, we've got five minutes until we do the giveaway. 26 people watching. We are giving away a, um, a simul... What's it called again? A simulated... Dre a simulator dreadnought carrier, is it, Catherine? Yeah. Um, which is worth 1.3 to 1.4 billion on the exchange and that's going to go to one of the 26 viewers watching us right now so do not leave, you've got 5 minutes until we find out who's winning that okay, and uh, these kind of kind of giveaways will be happening fairly often on these streams given what we've uh, you know, what we've uh, been up to so far and the track record so far, so um, are we going to continue trolling Harry Kim or do you, any ideas for what we want to do next. Do you want to go somewhere else in the galaxy and have a bit of a dance party? Should we find another place that allows loads and loads and loads of people? Or do we want to go to like a quiet instance of space dock and take over? I'd quite, um, so I'd quite like to, maybe if we can go to Bajor, Bajor maybe. Bajor? Bajor maybe. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Bajor. Just to see the comparisons. Yeah. Right, folks, let's go. Let's get going. Oh, Captain Von Bishop, you went far away, DS9, so we're going to go to Bajor. So let's go to Bajor. I wonder if I've got enough uh, transport things to go to Bajor. Nope. I'm going to have to go to DS9 and then go to Bajor. So let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Captain Von Bishop looks very excited there. Uh, when we said when you said Bajor, Catherine, there was a, a scream of joy. <laughs> I believe, emanated from Captain Von Bishop's lips. Um, right, leave the system, go to Bajor. That's the plan. 27 viewers right now, that's absolutely fantastic. We, we did hit 28. What I want is to see it go over 30. That's my little goal here, is to get it over 30 for tonight, because that just shows that we're going further and further along in our, our goal here. Um, goal of getting more and more viewers but but the good thing is right i think catherine you can you can tell me if you agree or disagree with me here i think it's just as important to have a smaller number of truly engaged viewers as it is to have a large number of random viewers yeah yeah Yeah, I, I completely agree. So if anyone is interested in joining Mutaro Alliance Command staff, as Davey has, uh, Draco Davy has put in the um, in the chat, um, please let uh, one of the executive officers know. So the executive officers are currently Dave, he is Vizu on Discord and also V. You can also message Chris, um, Chris Hawkins, who is an AC. And you can also message Techie, who is also an AC. So message any of those four guys, and they'll be more than happy to chat through that with you. There we go. Um, so, do we want to go to the like the middle square bit, or the, like the the fountains, or whatever it is? I can't remember exactly where it is, but there's like a nice bit in the middle of town, isn't there? On Bajor. Yeah, there certainly is. I'm trying to remember how to get there. Um. Oh yeah, so, yeah, it's over here, isn't it? Over this, I just saw Nigel and Serborn running by. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a big, big monument type thing. So if we stand around the front of that, that's cool. There we go. There we go. Look at the size of that thing. My goodness gracious me. Right. Okay. Right. So see folks showing up. Okay. One minute. One minute until the giveaway, folks. Are you excited? If you're excited, say something in the chat. I want you to tell me how excited you are. Okay. You gotta, you gotta tell me. And the thing is, and I will say this: twenty-nine viewers, amazing stuff. Listen, your chances of winning go higher the more you chat. Okay. 
honest to goodness, right? That's the way this thing seems to work. So if you're active in the chat, it picks you, okay? Um, so you gotta you gotta be talking, you gotta be talking in there. Um, five minutes, okay? So we'll we'll do a five minute countdown. I'm gonna do a five minute countdown so from now. Um, I, I can see some people chatting away in our Mar in the local chat. Um, so in the game? you, yeah, in the game. So you got to make sure that you're chatting in the in the Twitch chat, okay? Um, otherwise, um, otherwise you won't be in for a chance to win the ship. Yeah, yeah, you got to be. Aha, uh -huh. you got to be chatting in the Twitch chat because it, the the random chooser thing doesn't have. Um. Any? Oh my God! We're at thirty viewers, Catherine. It's happened. Wow. Um. So that must be them coming over from the the local chat. So yeah. Um. Yeah. The algorithm thing that picks the winner only picks it from the chatters in the chat on Twitch. It doesn't come from anywhere else. We're not that much of geniuses, you know what I mean? Like in terms of coding, or, I don't know if you are, Catherine, but like you know, I don't know of a way to to scrape names from Star Trek Online's inner chat system. Anyway, four minutes sixteen seconds to go. Thirty one viewers, fantastic. Um, Davy, um, hashtag thingy in chat to make sure you've entered. <laughs> yep. So where is everybody? Me and Catherine are here on. Oh, there's a few of us here. Let's let's cluster together a wee bit more. We want to get the numbers back up. Um, we had uh, who was that? Um, Lali or something? Just somersaulted right through um, Fleet Admiral Jason there, which is brilliant. Um, you got to draw. So if you if you if you have just joined us, um, we in a few minutes' time um, we're going to be doing a giveaway for a ship. Um, v, do you want to tell them what ship? Uh, is this a, a simulator dreadnought carrier, which is worth one point? Three to one point four billion on the exchange. It's an infinity ship, I believe. Stop me if I'm wow. wrong. There. So you know, or at the very least, it's a lockbox ship. But I think it's infinity. Um, so you got to drop a dance ball cast, and you got to do it. Let's have a party here, folks. Let's <laughs> let's rock up Bejor. And anybody who's on the stream and wants to join us, we're in Bejor, um, Hathon Instance One. Okay. Um, so you're the gem Hadar to the right. Um, look at the moves that you're pulling off there. Uh, no dice rice. Look at that. That's the smoothest Jemadar I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, dancing is life. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Um, there we go. I mean, this is uh, something else. Look at this. Bejor is rocking right now. It's a pity the NPCs don't dance. Back up to 31 viewers. Incredible stuff. This is the most we've ever had, I believe. Um... Captain Von Bishop says, so we found out something new. What's that? What's that you found out? If you're short, you can get, you can't get out of the pool. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah, so the pool's only for adults then. Okay. There's Nigel dancing riskily on the edge of the pool. Look at that. I mean, look at Nigel. He is so close. And Catherine as well. Nigel's dancing with uh, their back to the pool. Look at that. That is some seriously, um, Seriously risky moves there. So, on the one hand, you've got uh, Nigel uh, there dancing, and then right next to him, you've got some sedate chatting going on from some of the locals. Uh, Captain Von Bishop, I just saved him from the pool. There you go. Um, yep, yeah, you've got. Is, are you um, Bishop? Um, uh, how do you say that? F K F K F R K I D R. <laughs> um, is that you there next to the pool as well? But yeah, look at this. We are dancing it up. We've got one minute, 30 seconds to go. Someone's, le someone's left. It went from 31 viewers to 30. I don't know why anyone would leave when you're going to stand a chance of winning a 1.4 billion EC ship. You know, I mean, your odds are pretty good when there's only 30 people here. Um, cool, Captain Von Bishop. There you go. I mean, I should have put those clues together. Captain Von Bishop is Bishop. There you go. Um, zero tech dragon more chance for you yep that's true that's true I hope you're not bumping off some of the viewers to up your chances um, oh yeah you're at the nebula okay no worries uh, nailed it says no dice rice um, maybe tea was ready and they're having a, a steak tonight says spike you never know maybe so okay 47 seconds I just keep looking down at my little timer Look at that, we're dropping some serious stuff around here. All of our uh, 
reputations. We're going to crash this uh, instance, aren't we? Um, Aiden said BRB. Don't worry, Aiden. Um, if you win, you know we will. Uh, you'll see it on the stream. Anyway, the way that it will work. Gaharius is there. We've got Captain Von Bishop. Very excited, clearly. Fifteen seconds. Like the countdown clock, isn't it? Ten seconds. From the UK TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a pity we probably can't play that music. Okay. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. So. Uh, I need to get it ready. It's open. I just need to get to the right window. Okay. Got another follower right in that moment there. It is um, Wolfie1982. Fantastic. Welcome aboard, Wolfie. We're about to do a giveaway. Don't go anywhere, anyone. Keep chatting. Keep chatting. Keep chatting. Okay? So, what do we want to do? We're going to roll. Okay? Right? Now, you'll see that the names change and move around depending on different... It must be, like, amounts of chat or something like that. Okay? So, um... <laughs> Now, the question is, I've actually just realised something, Catherine, so it's got on here, like, staff, admin, mod. Should I just take, should I take off the, the, the staff from this? Because we, I mean, I wouldn't want to win the ship. I would want someone. Just, in... we're, we're just, we're, we're, yeah, just wait, uh, Chris, what, uh, what's your view on that? Just real quick. Yeah. Just hold on a second. We keep them on, Chris? Yes, take them off. Okay. Okay. So that makes it a little <laughs> bit better. So it's going to be one of the normal users. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, staff is Twitch staff. Any Twitch staff in here? Okay, you ready, folks? You ready? It is Aoro. Aoro has won the... Wow. T6 assimilated or assimilator... Dreadnought Carrier. There you go. How about that? Well done, Eoro. That's absolutely awesome. I mean, that's... I think, Eoro, you said... Had you just come over here today or something like that? I mean, that's, that, that, is, a, that is an absolutely wild um, turn of events there, isn't it? You can never predict um, what's going to happen, can you? You can never predict it. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, so... I know, I know they've definitely got a tune in Nimbus Fleet, and they are one of the top contributors for it. Well, there you go. You all see that? That's what happens. You contribute. You're, you know, I mean, karma. Karma works in myst. Well, maybe not mysterious ways. You do good things. You know what I mean? You're, you're being a part of the community, um, and you come in here and you're taking part, and then you've got. Um, a massive reward, right? I mean, you can you can use that ship, or you can sell that ship and not be worrying worrying about EC for a very, very long time. And that amount of EC, you can actually say you have a particular ship that you're looking for. You might have a few million there, or a few hundred million. You drop that one point four billion in there, and you are laughing, aren't you? You're absolutely laughing there. So that's that is some brilliant stuff. I'm so pleased that you that you won that there. I have to say. Um. 10.8 million EC, or is it, 10, is it EC, Catherine, yeah? No, it's the, so it's the overall holding contribution credits. Oh, right, okay, yeah, 10.8 million that's what... holding contribution credits, that's incredible, so that would be anything, wouldn't it? It could be the lithium, it could be... Yeah, the lithium, yeah. yeah. Could be anything, Number yeah. one, number one in um, Nimbus. Yeah, I mean, that it's is... a massive, yeah. That is huge, that is a huge amount, that is a huge amount, so... There you go, um, Eoro. We're obviously you've got the prize, but we're also giving you a shout out there, just to the, you know, to make it clear the extent of the massive contributions that you've made to that, um, that fleet, which is a part of the Mutara, um, alliance, part of the the overall armada, um. So that's brilliant stuff. So it's ten past seven. It is now time, um, for us to, uh to head off because we always run these streams for about an hour an hour and 10 minutes at the moment there may be some experiments with some longer ones but i think that went really well Catherine. do you reckon yeah 
I've really enjoyed it tonight. I hope everyone else has as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping oh. that um, everybody's. Are we going to raid someone? Well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we can raid someone. Um, is there another um, Star Trek Online stream going on at the moment? Don't go anywhere yet, folks. We may be raiding someone. I wonder if there is one online right now. So, Star Trek Online, let's have a look. Um, we've got Sphinx STO at the moment. Um, we could raid them. Um, who's got 11 viewers just now. So, if anybody wants to set that up, now's the time to do it. One of the mods or the admins in the chat. That's who that's who we're going to raid. Great, Chris. Cool. Okay, so we get thirty one viewers. Um so do you want to set the raid up now, Chris, and we can get folk um get folk sent over there? Just share the love with another content creator, Star Trek Online. So yep. So stay on this stream for now, yep. And then the raid will take over automatically. Awesome. You still with me, Catherine? Yes, yes, all receiving. Cool. Well, let's wrap this up because the raid is going to start. So I'm going to say goodbye just now. And um, I'm just going to kind of wait until we see the raid starting in the chat. So good to go now. Good to go now. Bye. Oh, yeah. And we, we got to say without you, we're nothing as well. I'm just waiting on this raid now, Catherine, <laughs> because I think we have to keep it running until it starts. No problem, Serbon. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, like thank you, awkward. everyone, for joining us. <laughs> so, hashtag awkward thingy. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm going to put the gameplay no cam on because then it's a little bit, a little bit uh, easier for when it just switches over. Because it doesn't matter if it switches over now. Still got the 31 viewers, which is great. So. Um, yeah. Let's get this raid on the go. Let's get this raid on the go. Who's who's setting that up? He's not accepting raids. Well, okay, we'll just have to choose another one. Um, that's a shame. I wonder why you wouldn't want to accept raids. That seems a bit strange, don't you think, Catherine? Yeah, a little bit, but I guess it's um, um, it 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 depends, doesn't it? So. Yeah, you know, that's that's clearly a personal choice of his, and yeah, we just um, I think we just need to roll with it. Yeah, I I guess it's just that the raids are so beneficial. I mean, I suppose unless you were getting raided by people that were not who you wanted, do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's another yeah. one called Fuzzy Bunnies or something like that. But I guess we could we could hop over there. It's just finding one that's also playing Star Trek Online and they'll suddenly get a whole load of viewers, which is nice, especially if they've only got a couple watching, you know? Um, so... Cochrane Queen said he clearly doesn't know how great we are. I completely agree with that. That is great sentiment. <laughs> Absolutely. Stealing your word. Okay, so we've got the, the raid has been put in, seemingly. So, yeah. That's the, yeah, I've gone across on my stream. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to end the stream now anyway. So in case anyone is still watching, bye, folks.